Right, well, we've just arrived at the camp. Um, it's so good to be back here. Honestly, guys, this is probably my favorite place in the world to come and spend a few days. Um, it's just so far away from city life, um, so far, far away from the busyness of life. Um, it's really just great to come out here and be in touch with nature and, and get a lot of shooting done. That's probably the main reason we come out here. So it's great to be back here. It's great to see the, 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 the camp looking so green. They've had a lot of rain on this property, which is exactly what they needed. Um, so hopefully the next few days will bring a lot of good shooting. Let's see how it goes. After setting up at the camp, we decided to head to the farmhouse just to spend some time catching up with our host family, the Nils, and taking in some of the views surrounding the house. The wind wasn't too bad, so I decided to send the drone up and what unfolds here, well, let's just say it delayed our hunting plans just a little bit. So here's what happened, I was flying the drone from the house back there, you can see it back there, and getting some really nice footage, next thing I know I see a rock coming into my field of view, it's a loose signal, so I've crashed the drone up on the top of that mountain there, and hopefully we can find it, I think we will find it, but the question is, is it still functional, I'm really nervous to see what I'm going to find, but just hoping for the best. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Is it still on? Yeah. So here it is. It's a bit bruised. It's got some scratches. But the camera and the gimbal look like they probably might work. <laughs> It was a pretty stressful retrieval mission, but the stress soon disappears as we're able to take in some of the beautiful views from the hill. Everything you see here is part of the Vitmos Clue of Conservancy, and over the following few days we'll be exploring every nook and cranny and doing plenty of shooting. There's a lot of hunting to come over the next few videos, but first things first, we need to have a little range session to make sure our setups are functioning as they should. Okay, well, it's our first morning at Wittmoskloof Film and we are basically just out here at the range to just check a few loads and, and make sure our, our rifles are shooting well before we head out. Um, I know my air guns are shooting well because I was able to check the zero at home. Uh, I'm trying out some new uh, bullets here. These are 130 grain JLKs. Many of you won't even know what JLK bullets are. Um, I got these from GNG Varminting um, and they're basically uh, a slight improvement on the burgers so it'll be very interesting to see how they shoot i'm expecting big things of these so let's see So Matt and I actually don't like to clean our barrels that often and the reason is that with a certain amount of fouling in there the barrel maintains a, a level of equilibrium which ac actually helps to tighten up your groups and, and helps with consistency and that's evident here in what's happened because before we came on this trip I, I literally just ran one dry patch through my barrel and my first three shots are all over the place here which is obviously the barrel building up its equilibrium again which is surprising from just one patch and the next three here are clustered right all together and then the next three again were pretty tight 
not as tight as the others but they are still acceptable so it's quite interesting Right, well the point of coming out here was basically, well we were doing a number of things, uh, Luke was checking the zero on his loads, I was checking the zero on my main hunting loads, um, I was doing a basic optimal charge weight test with 50 grain nozzler bullets in my 22 to 50, uh, I figured out that this charge weight with these bullets is really good, this is a four shots in um, under half MOA, it would have been if I wasn't for the one shot, that's three shots basically in the same hole, which is fantastic. Um, and I also tried the 130 grain JLKs, found a good charge weight, and that's also a half MOA group. So I'm very happy with that. But there is something interesting to see here, and that is the fact that um, with the Strelok Pro app that we're using, you can actually input the point of impact shift between your main loads and whatever other loads you're using. And that's fantastic because I know that the JLKs shoot exactly three clicks lower than the, the sorry, three clicks higher than the ELDXs at 100 meters. So on Sherlock Pro, I can put that in. Um, so if I want to switch to JLKs, I can just change the JLK profile and it's going to be 100%. I don't have to think about the point of impact shift between those loads, which is great. Um, so I've got that sorted out now and I'm pretty much ready to go out and smash some monkeys and baboons or whatever presents itself. So that's great. I think we just need to get out there now. Thank you. 